Hello everybody, Swami here. Today we are going to create how to create. We are going to do how to create sales document type in SAP SDS4 HANA. I'm going to show that in the live system. Before that, let me show you the steps. How we are going to create it. So first I'm going to create sales document type. Next I'm going to create item category. Then I'm going to create schedule lines category. And finally I'm going to do the assignments. Let me go to the live system. This is my live system. Go to POB gate. So from the order, I'm going to create standard order OR. Select onto this. I'm going to create copy as. Go for copy as, or else if you are going for a new uh, new entry, all these configurations you should be knowing. So I'm going for a copy as. Set OR5. Set OR5. Set OR5. Document type. Standard document. To certify. Present type. Yes. And save. Continue. Set OR5. So I have created ZOR5 document type, sales document type. Continue. So all these are getting copied. And then I'm going to create a item category. Next step, I'm going to create an item category. That again, one one item category. This is order type. And this is item category. Item category. Set one one. I'm going to create. So I have created Z O R five. Now come back. Now go to B O B six. I'm going to create share item category. Go to sorry B O B seven. B O B seven. B O B seven. I'm going to create item category. Position go to position. From standard I'm going to copy as. This also I'm going to copy as. Copy as. This time I'm going to enter Z11. Z11. Z. ZN11. ZN11. User. It's user defined, so user. Giving user. Yes. Save it. ZN11. So this is also done. Continue. So I have created Z and one one. Now come back. Go to next step. We will be six. I'm going to create schedule lines. This time I'm going to create schedule lines. ZX, ZC, let me create ZC. So go to, I'm going to take it from CN, no MRP. Okay, MRP comes from material master. So no MRP. So go to copy as. 
now it's going to be ZC. ZC. OMRP user. Press enter. ZC already exists. Z5. Yes. Save. Press enter. And save. And it. Z5. Z5. And it. Z5. I have created Z5. Come back. Now go to BOB5. BOB5. Assign. This is assign schedule lines category with item category. So position, go to position, it will be available already. So my item category is Z11. Z11. Okay. Z11 and What's my uh, item? Shared length category is Z5. Z5. Z11 and Z5. Let me go for new entry. Z11. Press enter. MRP, no MRP, ND. So already available. So, that and love. So, that and love. Let's check it here. That and love. So, that and love. That and love. Z5. Let me delete this, all this. Let me create, assign a new one. D. Let me delete this. Save it. Let me check again. Z and level. Not about Z and level. So now, you will read Z and level. MRP type, no MRP and D. This is Z5. Schedule lines is Z5. Present. And save. Come back. So I have done BOB5. Come back. Now go to BOB4. BOB4. Last one. BOB4. Go to position. Sales document type. ZOR5. Sales document type. ZOR5. Five. Let me delete all this. I've selected all this and I'm going to delete this and save it. Okay. Now I'm going for new entry. Set over five. Z O R five new entry sales document type Z O R five item category group norm and I level item category is no item category let's go for item category this is my item category Z N one eleven Z N eleven Z N eleven press enter and save. Now we are going to create a sales order BA0. So this is my order type ZOR5. As I, as I already told you, ZOR5. And my item category is ZN11. And my schedule lines category is Z25. Sales organization, distribution channel, and division I have entered. Sales organization LD01, distribution channel LD, division LD. Press enter. Now I'm going to enter the sold to party. Now I'm going to enter material 5447 quantity, one quantity. See here, item category Z11. Already I've told you Z11 is my item category. So now Z11 is deliverable item and it which is relevant for pricing. 
so pricing also has come 550 rupees INR. So now double click onto this line item. So schedule lines, go to schedule lines. What do you mean by schedule lines? Confirm the quantity again, confirm delivery date. So it is Z5. So I have created Z5 schedule lines. See here, it has appeared here. Now enter everything, shipping, go to shipping, shipping tab, enter storage location LD01, net weight, gross weight, and save it. This is how you create a sales document. Edit, go to edit. Payment terms, import terms is missing. I have to enter payment terms and import terms. Double click onto this line item. Complete data, import terms, payment terms. Press enter, come back and save. So this is how we create the sales document type. So this is how you create the sales sales order, sales document type. Thank you.